Hello folks and welcome. So today's uh, video I have is Solus Budgie Desktop. I'm going to give you a tour and overview of Solus. And this is a distribution that I just installed here in March of 2023. So I'm actually going to first go to DistroWatch. Um, if you have never been here, you can also get the link through my, um, through my YouTube site. But in either case, it's distrowatch.com. So they land here at 26. So I'm just going to give you a, a, a little bit about the distribution. That's probably too small. So let me resize that for you. And hopefully that's large enough. Uh, anyway, it's a typical screenshot. And let's um, talk about the distribution. It is an, based on an independent. So they're out of the country of Ireland. They offer several desktops. Budgie is what I'm filming from today. So they also have GNOME, Plasma, and Mate. They are listed as a beginner's category. And they offer also live medium. For a lot of you folks that uh, don't know what that word means, you just go to their home page and uh, download the version you're looking for and give it a test run before you install it. In either case, I will scroll back out and um, point to this right here, their package manager. If you are installing software through terminal, I'm going to show that command also as a demo. Because that is how I installed the actual recording software that I'm currently using. So let me close that and open up terminal. And then we'll give you the tour of the system. So I'm going to put in TE for terminal. And uh, I'm just going to resize this manually. Or as one would say, the hard way. Hopefully that's large enough for you. And I'm going to give you INXI information. I used to use this command quite a bit on my previous channel. All I'm focusing on is the top line. So the desktop is budgy. The distro is uh, or distribution is 4.3 Fortitude, Solus 4.3 Fortitude. And it uses a fairly advanced kernel for you folks wanting to know that information. Now I am going to hit Control C and clear the screen and give you my history buffer. Just going to give you a typical installation command for installing a package out of terminal. So that is sudo super user do eopkg space install is the name of the command. And simple screen recorder is my app or application or software recording this video. Now let's continue. We'll start at the top with Mr. Senior here, the file manager, and open that up. And then you can resize the icons my way or the system way. I'm holding down my control key with my left hand while scrolling with my computer mouse. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way. This again is files, GNOME project, 43.2 on this version. I also have, I'm going to resize this back up slightly and uh, point to, I have a couple of pieces of weird wallpaper for you. That's not big enough, I'll re-scroll back up. And uh, you can always set these as background. So if you got uh, pictures of your children or your your pets, your friends, your pictures of nature, it doesn't really matter. Just throw them into a folder and set them as backgrounds. In other words, wallpaper. I'm going to continue. All right, trash can is self-explanatory. Right click and uh, budgie desktop settings. As with a lot of my videos, whenever you are making changes to your system, I do recommend screenshots. So go to that grid downstairs if you have this installed. Type in SC and look for the screenshot tool and do at least a window, if not a full screen. Full screen means wallpaper in this box and panel bar. Window normally just takes a picture of this box. You can also use selection and chop things out of here. Windows are most convenient. And then click. That's all I'm going to say about screenshots. You do have two mouse pointers or cursors. I'm currently using the default. I made no changes to the system whatsoever. I just added simple screen recorder through terminal and that is it. I will walk through these menus fairly quickly because again, this is an overview and a tour. You can always pause this and back this up. All of my videos have chapters on them. All of them, my videos. Bottom panel, 
and then create new I'm not even going to bother with and auto start. And then I'm going to close this and right click again and talk about this part. So this is the Budgie Control Center. You also have some keyboard shortcuts if you like to use those kind of things. It's wherever you left the last, so I'm going to just start at the top. You've got backgrounds. Again, this is the standard background that came with this. So there is a scroll bar over here, but I'm just using my mouse to scroll with. Okay, and some beautiful ones too. I'm not going to talk about it. Most of this stuff is self-explanatory, folks. But I will point to what I'm filming at today, which is 1080. This is capable of doing 4K. And so is my screen. And it does really look nice because it booted up in 4K. But I'm filming in 1080 so I can bring you the larger icons and everything else. Just wanted to be aware of that. Printers were auto-discovered, so I didn't need to install anything. You know, I remember the old days hunting for printer drivers. Boy, that was a fun project. And um, the accessibility options, you have all kinds of stuff, like large text, for instance, or the cursor size. This is the smallest, and this is the largest. Again, the other Budgie Desktop Center had the choice of the two mice or cursors. All right, so we have users, default, time and date, and about your system. And I gave you system information in a different way. So this, again, is the Budgie Control Center. So you have Budgie settings, and then you've got the other system settings. So the two settings are right here just by right-clicking on the screen. I already mentioned the icons, so let's move downstairs. So maybe my subscription icon is sitting here on top of this, but there's this looks like an arrow. You just pull it out. It's got a mini calendar, notifications, and uh, I, I did a review on this several years ago, if I recall, and I was playing music, and you can actually see the information in here. Other than that, I'm going to close the door, as they say, and just click on the time, and you have your system time and date settings in here. Uh, if you click that, you got a calendar, which I threw in a couple of events. It's pretty simple to do. Put in there, test, and then you can hit edit and also repeats and starting and stopping. So this calendar is that one. And you got a couple of sliders up here and different ways of viewing things. All right, let's move on. Right next to that is this tiny little power button. So if you are trying to log out, you just click on your user, in my case, Mr. Senior, log out, lock, suspend, hibernate, restart, and shut down. Bluetooth, if you got them, Volume thing, notification thing, wireless thing, and of course, Simple Screen Recorder is recording this currently. So that is the icon for Simple Screen Recorder. So I'm going to skip over that and click up in uh, Rhythm Box because that's the <clears throat> native uh, music player that comes with uh, this distribution. And of course, you can install others. I'm just showing you what's, what's in here. And I threw in a couple of songs to demo that. Um, your video player, Celluloid, standard Firefox web browser, the file manager, which I opened when I did the Mr. Senior thing, and here's the software center. Software center is easy to use. You can do a search. You can click through stuff. You are looking for stuff. You click it, and you install it. It's that simple. So that's software center. And again, I installed my simple screen recorder through terminal. Just remember that package manager is a little different. All right, moving to this menu here, it looks like a grid. You have a simple search feature at the top. I'm not going to go through all. I'm going to go through accessories through utilities fairly fast. I'll stop a couple of times and talk about certain things. So accessories, again, another shortcut to my file manager. Uh, Gedit is your text editor. Under graphics, you got an image viewer and also LibreOffice Draw. Internet is Firefox. And of course, you can go through your software center and look for others and install other web browsers and other means, if you know what I'm talking about. HexChat and Thunderbird. And uh, Office is LibreOffice that comes installed. And um, I've been told I don't use LibreOffice heavily, but I do use Writer. And I enjoy using Writer. But more importantly, I'm not heavily into other things like databases and tons of spreadsheets and that kind of stuff. But my understanding is uh, someone told me LibreOffice is 100% compatible with Microsoft Office. Well, that's a good thing, since LibreOffice is also available for Microsoft Windows and uh, um, Apple Macs. Best price on LibreOffice, it's free, unlike Microsoft Office. 
So here's a shortcut again to this calendar. Just wanted to point out that. It was sitting in your office category as the top item. Other, we have Budgie Control Center, onboard settings, and the printer, again, if I didn't make mention of it, was auto discovered. My printer is a network printer. And there's an add button in there also if you are adding that manually. <laughs> Sound and video, I installed simple screen recorder through terminal so you do get celluloid and rhythm box. System settings, another shortcut to the software center, down here also. Hardware drivers, system tools, budgie desktop settings, gparted partition editor. I actually do have a dedicated video on my YouTube site. I believe it's called hard drives, USB sticks, partitions, and I have a part one and two. One of them is on Gparted. So you can go through my YouTube site if you are interested in something like that. I will warn you the video is more than 40 minutes and you can look in my community tab to how to do searches on my uh, YouTube videos to do that rather quickly instead of scrolling through the uh, video section. And uh, anyways, Moving along, universal access, onboard, uh, flexible onboard keyboard, and utilities. You got a simple calculator, looks rather nice. And uh, we are, you also have another utility for partitions. Uh, it's called GNOME Disk Utility. I also have another video on this that is also more than 40 minutes for the same thing, for Gparted or GNOME Disk Utility. Gparted and GNOME disk utility. Part one, I believe, is on this one, and part two is on the Gparted, if you're looking for those kind of videos on my YouTube site. More importantly, let's move on. Disk usage analyzer, document viewer. You do have some help here with GNOME. Password keys. Again, the screenshot tool I recommend highly if you're making system changes. System monitor, and again, terminal. I think uh, right-clicking on the panel bar doesn't do much, and uh, most of your settings is done by right-clicking here to the Budgie desktop setting and regular settings. Other than that, I will say thank you for watching, and you folks take care.